You are now watching an agorist production by We Are Change Texas Hill Country and Truth Exposed Radio, coming to you from Austin, Texas at Brave New Books.
You want to learn how to build a house? There's a video on YouTube for that. There's no excuse. It's just fear that's holding us back. And again, I'm as guilty as anybody. I was in the fucking Marines. And then I went and I wanted to be the, you know, the talking head and the media producer and all that. It's not it. And uh, I'm excited to share publicly for the first time that Macy and I have figured out at the end of this tour, we're going to be buying a piece of land probably somewhere just west of Flagstaff, Arizona, and set up our homestead. As soon as this tour is over. At some point, you get sick of your own bullshit. And the faster you do, the sooner you can be really happy with your life. And I have to say, at least in some ways, I have uh, lived up to this. Maybe with a little help of Ben Farmer and my probation officer, now living this radically different life on the road. But there's still something that shapes in me about paying for gas and paying those taxes and buying crap food at gas stations and all the ways that we're forced to interact with the state just getting around. And I know there's a better way. And I'm going to be living it. And I know already this is, you know, this is a process. We have to be kind and gentle with ourselves. We have to nurture ourselves to grow, to evolve out of statism. We have to create that space for ourselves, not just in, re in physical reality, but in our minds as well. And then we have to remember that for the people who are in a state of psychological infancy, and I have no problems telling people that's what it is, because I'm growing up too, and I was an infant at 30 years old in a lot of dangerous ways. This message, as much as we talk about it as individualism, really is about the collective of humanity moving forward. If you think differently, have the courage to live as differently. And then you get to be a part of this process. Thank you very much. Consulting. He hasn't agreed to it, but he'll <laughs> stay with some uh, free consulting. 
And uh, we do have a place, a backup place tonight in Oak Hill, so if, if you can't find him a place around here, which would be ideal, because he's coming to the store for three, uh, three or four talks uh, next week, uh, if anybody can help us get him a ride out to Oak Hill, if anybody's headed to South Austin, takes a village. Bob Podolsky, wonderful house guest. Pick his brain. <laughs> yeah! Uh, so I have a question about legal property ownership, and several of you have mentioned your um, hopes to acquire a piece of land and create a homestead on it in terms of legally owning it. Um, You'll be renting it from the government, technically. That's what I was going to say. Uh, do you have any ambitions of owning land in a de facto manner rather than a de jure manner uh, in terms of actually going out and finding a piece of land that's unused but not actually legally owning it? Um, for the past eight months, I've actually been living off the grid six months in Houston and now two months here on East Riverside, uh, just kind of squatting is the term people use. Um, so I guess I was wondering... Freedom. Yeah, exactly. Uh, what's your opinion on that? And uh, I'd also offer a bottle place out there if uh, you want to come camp. We have like a 100 acre forest that nobody's using, and you're welcome to come out and check it out. Yeah. Um, so I guess I'm asked, wondering uh, why you would want to legally own land. Yeah, sure. So uh, the prospect of quote unquote owning a piece of property and constantly having to pay property taxes uh, it ilks me pretty bad. Um, there's these elements of existing as a free person uh, where you gotta weigh the cost benefit analysis, right? And I think the property tax is one of those taxes that's probably one of the harder ones to come by should you try to purchase and own a piece of property. So most people just go ahead and pony up. Uh, some alternatives to just pony it up, which again, it's okay if that's what you do. You may feel inconsistent about it, but it's hard to be a free man in an unfree world, and we all have to do the best that we can. Nothing more, nothing less. Just do the best that you can. Because we had a, some friends up in New Hampshire that had a wonderful their dream house with like a wraparound porch, and uh, the husband said to hell with the property taxes. I can't do it. I can't pay another year. And they took his house. It's like, ah. That really sucks. I felt good and consistent and hoorah, I was free, you know, freedom, right? Consistency. Now we're renting and my wife resents me because we don't have the house anymore. So there's always that. But there's a couple alternatives. One, I start a non-profit, 501c3, use the property for tax exempt activities, educate what, what Adam does driving around. If he was walking 501c3, it could be a totally tax exempt world. I, I am. We, we have one now. Well, we're, we're pe pending C3 status, but... Pending C3 status. Four days. Cool. Months. So <laughs> there's the one thing. If you're in Texas, if you acquire 10 acres or more, you can have an agriculture exemption. Ideally, you purchase a piece of property.